talk about how we started using Azure Storage to solve a problem for us, and we actually got some nice benefits out of it, and that's the clickbait title. So, um, what the problem was? The problem was that uh, for some historic reason, our, our uh, infrastructure was set up in a way that uh, when we wanted to deploy front-end application, uh, we required uh, cooperation with backend. We uh, actually like hard-coded the version that we want to use in the backend server, and then the backend guy went and deployed the server to production. Uh, it went like this, kind of. We built the front-end uh, repository, we got uh, some private uh, NPM registry that was uh, packaged with some version. Then we went to backend repository. We set a version, the exact version we needed there. Then the backend repository was built, and as part of the build, it downloaded the version, uh, the package with that version, unpacked it, uh, copied it to itself, deployed it uh, like that in the production, and was hard coded there for, for uh, like until the next deploy. Uh, you can imagine that this is this is quite a few steps, and uh, you can imagine that uh, we are we are doing this uh, in some uh, like off peak times, usually around midnight. And you can imagine what happens if you messed up something like a little typo, you missed uh, something small, and then you realize in the around like four four a.m. that you have to do this <laughs> whole thing again. And you need two developers to do it. You need to some time to uh, build to finish. You need to verify that it was actually working. And yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really good for those developers doing these things in the middle of night. So we were looking for some solution how to fix it. Uh, and the solution was twofold. Uh, one solution that we that we uh, one part of the solution was the Azure storage. Uh, if you don't know Azure Storage, it's it's uh, like a package of, of different types of uh, data hosting services. Uh, the one we use specifically for this problem is is, is Blob Storage. Blobs meaning binary large objects. Uh, essentially, it means that we can treat it like a virtual file system with some REST API. And the way we use it, we actually instead of creating a package uh, when we build the front end. We, unpack, we actually take the files that would be in the package and we, we just store it in the storage. And the nice thing is then these files then can be directly accessed by a browser. It has their own public URL. So that's the hosting, uh, hosting uh, of, of our artifacts independent of backend. The second thing that we changed, we actually changed the server to query the, query the uh, storage for the version that it should serve. So it's always asking in some interval, hey, what's the latest version? The version is itself written in some manifest file, which is simple file saying, hey, latest version is this one. And whenever the, the version is changed as part of the build, the server downloads the latest version and starts saving that one. So instead of, instead of doing the whole cycle as you saw, we went from this, this is the same thing, but we just deployed to Azure Storage. And then there is already a server waiting for us to get the latest version, and this is much faster. So we actually cut the deploys to, I guess, like one, one third, maybe. Like the, 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 the biggest problem was that the backend deploys were a little bit longer than the frontend ones. And yeah, this is, this is much, much faster. And it actually allowed us to do it uh, independently of the backend, so one, just one developer can do it. Yeah, much nicer. But it actually got some benefits for us. And one of the benefits that we realized is that, uh, you know, we usually don't uh, deploy bugs to production, but when we do, we, we can actually revert it pretty fast. Because the latest version is actually labeled. So if you realize that we actually missed, messed up something and we deploy, we, we deploy it uh, back into production, we can go to Azure Storage, write the file, and like this, we save the previous version. And that's pretty amazing, I think. Uh, another thing that we realized even like much later that we can actually use this and uh, uh, like instead of instead of just like uh, always querying the latest version, we can. Uh, tell the server to query some specific version. And what we do uh, also is that uh, for every feature branch we build, 
we create like a pre-release bill that can be then used by testers to verify before we merge it to production. But we can actually actually do something better. Like we can take this pre-release version in Azure Storage and then pass the version of the pre-release to server and tell them, hey, use the production data of some our real customer with this priorities version, and then we can say this link, send it to them, and they can test the priorities version uh, even before it gets to production. Okay? So that was two nice benefits we got out of this, and that's it. Thank you, Thank you for your time.